if you train boxing, martial arts, anything like that, uh, it's always good to record your training or your sparring so that, that way you could watch it over, study it, should make it like a film study. I watch a lot of my sparring videos, slow motion. I watch what worked, what didn't work. Uh, be your biggest critic. If you just go in there and spar or train and there's no way to correct yourself or see progress, then it's going to be hard to really progress. If I watch my sparring videos and I notice I'm getting caught with a lot of lead hooks. All right. I didn't have my hand up. Okay. Now I'm going to drill next time keeping my hand up and I'm going to make sure that guy doesn't land that lead hook. If I land uh, a lead cross multiple times, okay, that's good. Uh, I'm actually getting better at that technique. Let me try something else. Recording yourself, watching the video back, analyzing it is going to make you see your weaknesses and your strengths so you can strengthen your weaknesses and try to be more of a complete fighter try to complete you know your craft and and get at a higher level so yeah if, you, if you're training you should be recording your bag sessions you should be recording your sparring sessions just to see progress just to see what works, what doesn't work. See mistakes that you make. You might be dropping your hand on your right hook. You might be leaving yourself open on a shot. You might be hesitating. You might be taking too much of the same shot. You might be somebody might be landing the same exact combination on you every time. If you see the video back, you watch it. Oh, okay. Now he's landing this shot on me. You know what? I need to keep that elbow tighter to the body. I need to move my head after that shot. Then you learn. Watch yourself, analyze, be your biggest critic, and learn.